My name is Dr. Pavling. I'm going to present you a case of a 57 year old lady with a Morton's neuroma in her right foot, intermetatarsal between 3 and 4. She suffers now for 3 years. She has severe pain whenever she wears tight shoes and as soon as she gets out of the shoe then the pain becomes lower. She got injections and insoles and that did not help and therefore she is physically inactive and doesn't like to walk anymore and in the MRI there is a clear Morton neuroma visible and I'm going to show you now the technique of the alkalization of the Morton neuroma. Here I locate the Morton neuroma which is approximately at the joint line of the MTP joints, sometimes a little bit distally, but if I'm unsure I rather inject rather proximal in order to destroy the complete nerve. Here you see the 25 degree angle and the length of my injection needle which should be 3.7 cm from the skin until to the Morton neuroma. As mentioned I rather inject a little bit proximally. This is everything you need. I take 2.5 milliliter of ethanol 70% and after the alkalization I inject 3 milliliter of xylocaine 2% and this is my electroneurographic device and I use a 5 centimeter 22 gauge needle Referring to the positioning, we use a leg holder in order to make a good dorsal plantar radiograph. First, I de air my injection needle with 0.5 milliliter of ethanol. I try not to let the ethanol drop out at the tip of the needle because this causes pain when I inject the needle. Here, I inject approximately three or four centimeter proximal to the MTP joint and I try to aim at the joint line with my 25 degree angle in this case I'm right at the first injection which is not always the case and when the radiograph is good I start my electroneurography as described with 2.5 milliampere and ask the patient if she feels a pain in the respective two toes and then I decrease the current and if she still feels pain with 0 0.5 milliampere then I know that I'm quite close to the nerve and I check in the second x-ray under the fluoroscope if the tip of the needle is not too far plantar or dorsal and if it doesn't exceed the MTP joint line and then I inject the 2.5 milliliter of ethanol as you can see here and then rather quick I disconnect and take the local anesthetic and I allow the patients to swear at me and to shout and cry a little bit because it is painful for about 10 to 20 seconds. Regarding the aftercare I allow full weight bearing immediately. I advise to take a painkiller for one or two days. The sick leave is depending on the job one to three days the follow-up is done mainly by telephone, but in week six I'd rather see the patient personally. There is a swelling in all cases, which differs. Can be only one week, can be even up to four weeks. And a good clinical sign is a numbness of the respective two toes, which starts immediately after the alcoholization and can remain for days or weeks, but in no case forever. Because then I know that I did not miss the nerve. All the cases that failed and had to have a second injection did not have this numbness initially. And the patients tell that they feel something as if they were walking on a little pellet or a little bit of something in the first weeks and this is always normal. The electric pain and the compression pain is away immediately. However, the wound pain can remain for two to eight weeks. I Wish you good luck and I think this is really a great opportunity 
to save operations and to make the life better for patients because since I introduced this method, I never had an open operation of a modern neuroma in my patients.